Hey everyone, my name's Aria and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about the cities and ghost towns that will kill you. The first place is Wittenham, Western Australia, about 680 miles or 1,100 kilometers north from Perth. It was named Wittenham according to its location at the Wittenham Gorge. The town of Wittenham originated in 1946. This town used to be famous and very inhabited due to the asbestos mine. The workers that lived in this mining town would return home to their families covered in a deadly and toxic dust known as asbestos fibers. Asbestos is a fibrous crystal composed of naturally occurring minerals. The way asbestos can be released into the air and could possibly be inhaled is through working on it, such as in a mine which is exactly what occurred in Wittenham. Even the roads in Wittenham were paved with asbestos. These fibers are toxic and can cause lung cancer and many other dangerous diseases. More than 2,000 residents in Wittenham have died so far from this asbestos. In 2007, this town was officially removed from the list of towns due to this, but was closed as a town in 1966. Despite the dangers of being in this town, many tourists still visit yearly. In 1961, a miner in Wittenham was diagnosed with mesothelioma and ultimately died from this. This was caused due to the asbestos. This miner in 1961 was only but one of the following 300 miners that would die from this sickness. In 1966, it was decided that the mine would be closed forever. After closing the mine, the town's population of approximately 20,000 people began to rapidly decline. Despite these dangers, some inhabitants still live in Wittenham. The second town we will be discussing is Centralia in the United States. This town is situated in Pennsylvania in Columbia County. Based off of the horrifying town of Silent Hill in the famous movie and video game, Centralia is known to be dangerous and uninhabited due to toxic fires burning underneath the ground. The cause of this is not yet certain but is believed to be due to a mining accident. Most of this town is abandoned as it is believed that these fires burning underneath the ground in the coal mines could still be burning for the next 250 years. This caused the release of 9.2 million gallons of toxic waste to be dumped into this water. When the fire started in May 1962, the population was at about a thousand people. However, in recent records in 2017, the population is about five. It is speculated that these fires were started by landfills in mines. Inhabiting or visiting this town would be extremely dangerous due to the toxic fumes occurring in the air from the burning fires. Not only are these fumes toxic, but the town is extremely hot. To this day, you can still see smoke arising through cracks in the road and some basements in homes have said to be filled by toxic gases from this fire. Residents in Centralia were ultimately forced to move as the fire is impossible to put out. It is highly dangerous to visit this town due to the toxic gases and dangerous holes that may open in the ground. The third dangerous place on our list today is Bikini Atoll. Bikini Atoll is in the Pacific Ocean as a part of the Marshall Islands. In 1946, a member of the United States Navy approached the inhabitants of Bikini Atoll, explaining to them that their island is the perfect site for testing nuclear weapons. Due to this, the inhabitants of this island agreed to leave the island. For the next eight years, the government of the United States detonated and tested nuclear weapons on this island. 23 bombs were dropped on Bikini Atoll, one of which was a thousand times more powerful than the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. In the late 1960s, officials from the United States declared the island safe to inhabit again. However, this was short-lived, as most of the residents that originally lived on Bikini Island had returned and began experiencing dire side effects, sickness and cancer. Most of them also developed thyroid problems and other issues. To this day, radiation still remains extremely high on Bikini Atoll and is still unsafe for human habitation. It was thus declared that the island still contained high levels of radiation and the inhabitants were once again immediately evacuated. Fourth town on this list is Pripyat in the Ukraine. The town of Pripyat is about two miles away from the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. In 1986, the well-known Chernobyl nuclear disaster occurred. This disaster was so immense that parts of Chernobyl had exploded. These explosions ultimately caused thousands of tons of radiation and radioactive material to be released into the air of Chernobyl and Pripyat. These levels of radiation were so extremely high that most of the woodlands and plant life surrounding this nuclear plant simply died once the radiation was released into the air. This is when Soviet officials decided to ultimately evacuate the town of Pripyat. Within a month of this nuclear disaster, 31 people had already died. In the long term, 
Greenpeace predicts that about 90,000 people will die due to the effects of this radiation. Today, however, Pripyat is much less radioactive than what it once was. Many tourists visit the city every year, although it may still be dangerous to live near the city. Most of the wildlife surrounding the city have shown signs of radiation poisoning, such as instances of deformities, extension, diseases, and radioactive-related illnesses. Our final town on this list for today is Bento Rodriguez in Brazil. This is a town that was located near an iron ore mine. All the mining waste from this mine was dumped into a nearby lake, which was situated near a dam which protected all the inhabitants from the toxic waste in this lake. However, in 2015, the wall that separated these two bodies of water ultimately collapsed. This toxic waste consisted of mud, which created such a large wave that it crushed the town of Bento Rodriguez. This mud ultimately caused the town to turn red, and it was determined that the mud contained high levels of toxic metals. These toxic chemicals contaminated the town's drinking water. After the residents of Bento Rodriguez were evacuated due to this toxicity, officials declared this town unsafe for at least the next 10 to 50 years. There is, however, still a possibility that the town may never be inhabited again. That's the list of toxic towns that we have for today. Thank you so much for watching the video and please like and subscribe down below.